Okay, so this is question 11, and it is a coordinate geometry question. It says two perpendicular lines, M and N, pass through the point 2, 3. The equation of M is Y is equal to 3X plus 4. Write down the Y-intercept and the slope of the line M. So if you remember, Y is equal to MX plus C. C is always the Y-intercept, and M is always the slope. And if you look, this formula is in that form already. So the slope... It's going to be 3. All right, so I'll write that in. Slope is 3. And the y-intercept is going to be c, which in this case is 4. All right, so y-intercept is 4, slope is equal to 3. Okay, using a trick of editing, I'm back trying to find the equation. So I had actually done this out when I realized I made an error. I misread what was going on up here. And I treated this as if it was the slope and not this, okay? So let's go again. Find the equation of the line. So the formula for the equation is y minus y1 is equal to m bracket x minus x1, all right? And we have the point, which was given to us, 2, 3. So that's up here, okay? And we need to find the slope. Now, the problem with the slope is we can't use this guy because that guy is for m. So we're told that they're perpendicular, and perpendicular slopes, when multiplied by each other, should give minus 1. So in other words, 3 over 1 multiplied by minus 1 over 3 has to give me minus 1, which it does. Therefore, I get minus 1 over 3 is the slope of this line here. So let's sub our values in. We get y minus y1, which is 3, is equal to m, which is minus 1 over 3, bracket x minus x1, which is 2. So a little trick you can use here is the denominator can get multiplied by everything here, and the numerator can get multiplied by everything here. It does algebraically make sense, but I'm not going to explain why in this video. So if you multiply the left by 3, you get 3y minus 9 is equal to minus x plus 2. All right. So then just tidy it up so that it's in this form here. So this becomes x plus 3y minus 11 is equal to 0. And that is the equation of the line n. So then this question says the point minus 1, 4 is on one of the lines, m or n. Which line is it on? Okay, so let's try for m here and for n here. So we're going to need the equation of the line. So this one is y is equal to 3x plus 4. And this one we just worked out is x plus... 3y minus 11 is equal to 0. So let's sub them in. So y is equal to 4 is equal to 3 multiplied by minus 1 plus 4. 4 is equal to minus 3 plus 4. 4 is equal to 1. Well, that's not true. So 4 does not equal 1. Therefore, it's not on n. So let's see if it's on n. We sub our values in. We get minus 1 plus 3 times 4 minus 11 is equal to 0. Minus 1 plus 12 is equal to zero, or sorry, minus 11 is equal to zero, minus one plus 12 is 11, minus 11 is equal to zero, zero is equal to zero, yep, it is on the line n, and there's my justification there.